September 28, 2014, and I've just finished up the uh, restoration of this old 1949 John Deere BW tractor, the wide front end, and uh, we've added onto it a 45W loader, which comes up over the top of the wide front. Get it to where you see it now. We've uh, we've had quite a bit of work to do, and uh, we can hear her purring away here. We start up front with the, uh, with the bucket. The bucket is a small bucket with manure tines, and there was one broken one and two bent ones. I was able to get uh, new ones on eBay. The bucket was also a uh, a drop bucket, which uh, had a manual release for the bucket, and I've added hydraulic cylinders up front. These two brackets that you see here are my design so that the bucket uh, gets full travel out of the two-foot cylinders. The cylinders are out to uh, pins that I welded into the frame into existing holes, so that all worked out good. is controlled by these two levers. This is the uh, lift and this is the bucket tilt. And uh, when I put the bucket on, it didn't want to steer anymore. So I had to add a power steering unit. This is a Charlene unit. And then to get that to work right, we had to put in a uh, French hydraulic uh, flow valve. And this has an adjustable flow on it, so I can adjust how much of what comes out of the hydraulic pump goes to the steering and how much goes to the uh, controls to the bucket. And uh, you can see here if we uh, lift the bucket up here, put a little gas, it go a little faster. Put a good big lift on it. in the front end, new tie rod ends uh, put on it. The uh, engine is in pretty good shape, but we had a, a broken manifold, so I had to get a new manifold. And the upper cooling tube had a crack in it, so we had to get a new one of those. And also, the head gasket was gone on it, so I had to replace the head gasket. While we had the head, gas, uh, head off of it, we redid the valves and put in hardened seats for uh, unleaded fuel. When I first got the tractor, it wasn't running very well. And the reason it didn't want to run too well from the beginning was the magneto. So we rebuilt the magneto, and that's been firing real good now. To start the tractor, it was a little hard starting, so I converted it to 12 volt positive ground alternator. <laughs> Instead of the 6 volt generator, we get a 12 volt battery under the seat. And the starter motor cranks over much faster than that. Let's see if we can see the instruments here. It's coming up in temperature a little bit. There's just a little bit of a charge going, but the alternator takes the battery back up very quickly. Well, pressure is right about the middle of the game. We rebuilt the brakes, of course we painted the whole tractor. The hydraulic system uses this uh, live hydraulic pump that installs in between the uh, governor and the magneto. So now this pump runs all the time off the governor, 
and it also drives the Magneto. The pump has just enough capacity to handle both the power steering and the loader, but you have to have a mixing valve that you can adjust to get the mixture right, because if you give too much to the power steering, you lose the loader. If you give too much to the loader, you lose the power steering. I had to change out the light bulbs from 6 volt to 12 volt, and that was all the part of the system that really had to change other than the battery and the alternator. So it's a pretty nice rig, uh, easy to steer. Got the ability to use the loader now, makes it much more useful. And pretty soon we'll be taking it back out to Fitchburg to my son Jonathan's place so he can use it to move horse manure around. One thing I've been wanting to do with the tractor before I give it to John is to remove this uh, old basketball net. A tree branch came down and bent the basket and I've been using a chain on it to hang parts up for paint. But uh, it's not useful anymore and I want to get it out of the way. It makes it a little easier to snowball around the, the uh, driveway in the winter time. So we're going to see how that goes.
Jackson. You'll hear the vocals from this song and the guitar from this song. You'll recognize a couple of the songs that you hear pieces from on this, based purely yep. on the title alone. I did the job. It's Beautiful People and the 60s was 90s on A-Train with WMB.